First at six, relaxing public drinking rules in Austin. Five months after the city council asked the city manager to look into decades old restrictions, he's got a response. KXAN's new political reporter, John Engel, is breaking down years of public consumption citations and found out why some city council members say it's time for a change. So quick history lesson first. Back in the 90s, Austin City Council designated six parts of town where public alcohol consumption was banned, like here in downtown in what's called a central business district. But they also restricted public consumption in single family residential areas in East Austin in historically minority neighborhoods. Texas law doesn't say where people can or cannot drink in public. That's up to cities. So while you may not know this, much of Austin is open for public consumption of alcohol, except in these six zones. Zones two, five, and six are home to historically minority families and fall in what the 1928 Austin Master Plan designated as the Negro District. It might surprise many Austinites to learn that it is completely legal in the vast majority of our city to crack open a cold one on the sidewalk. Um, but recognizing that there are certain areas where it's not legal and having some of those really not make sense. Austin City Council directed City Manager Spencer Cronk to analyze the history of Austin's public consumption ordinances. In 2015, 45 percent of public consumption citations went to black and Hispanic residents, with enforcement of the ordinance drastically declining from 2016 on, around the same time the city established an equity office. Kronk, however, concluded he believes the ordinances were put in place to enhance public safety. When you have laws on the books that have uh, uh, random or inconsistent enforcement, you often find disparities related to race. In, in Austin, in the data, at least in the last couple of years, it seems those numbers are so low, it's kind of harder to draw those specific conclusions. Councilmember Flanagan says he's waiting for an explanation from the city manager on why there was such a steep drop in citations from 2015 to 2016. Meanwhile, the city council is waiting for guidance from the Public Safety Commission before moving forward. John Engel, KXAN News. We reached out to the Austin police to ask about the dramatic drop in citations if it was in line with the establishment of the equity office back in 2016 and whether the police department had been instructed not to enforce the ordinance. APD responded that it is unclear why there was a drop in citations issued between 2015 and 2016. And a spokesperson said officers are encouraged to use the lowest level of enforcement to gain compliance with ordinances and laws. Current Texas law does not allow cities to add public consumption restrictions outside of central business districts. Those in East Austin are grandfathered in. To change the existing ordinance in Austin, the city council would have to approve an amendment.